Hi, hi, I'm here. I've seen lately that a lot of people seem to like to put magic candles in their fire kits. These are the candles that when you light them and blow them out, they magically relight. And I guess a lot of people think that uh, if they relight themselves after being blown out, they'd probably be a good thing to put in fire kits. Frankly, I don't think so. Now, I like putting the little birthday candles in my bag of tricks and I have them in all my fire kits because of their size they fit in there real nice but you have to be careful with them they will blow out that's what they're for but magic candles people seem to really think they're magic now the thing is if you read the box it says light candles and allow to burn for 60 seconds before blowing them out now, if you can keep the candle lit out in the field for 60 seconds, you really don't need magic candles. But let me show you what I mean. Normally, you put these in the cake, you light them, and then you got to haul them into the room, the cake into the room, so it's burning all that time, the 60 seconds. If I light this, see it's lit, blows out. That's not going to come lit again. What you have to do is light it and you let it burn. Even now, I could blow it out. That's not going to relight. You do have to let it burn. Now they're saying 60 seconds. Usually it's just until you see sparkles. There's little like sparkly stuff in the wick that will relight the fumes when a candle's blown out. I don't know, can you see that? It just sparkles. See the sparkles? Now if I blow that out, see it relights. But it will blow out. But hopefully if you fan it enough it'll come back. But it will go out, that it won't come back. Maybe if you fan it a little bit, there's the magic. See, it's all, it's pretty iffy. Personally, I prefer just plain birthday candles and you protect it from the wind. If you want to put these in your fire kit, okay, but I just want you to be aware that even in the instructions it says that you have to let it burn for 60 seconds. But see, now if I don't fan that, there we go. There was a little sparkle there that lit the, the vapors that are on the candle. But if you can get this burning for 60 seconds and you can't get your fire going in that time I don't know can you see that see the sparkles there that little sparkly material lights up the fumes and then relights the candle Sparkle. There we go. I think it's kind of interesting. It also says when the flame is blown out, oh, to extinguish a candle, put it in water. Be sure the flame is completely extinguished. Wait several minutes before disposing of this in the trash. I think that's a pretty good idea because you never know when it's going to come back if it does. Let's see. That ain't much of a flame. It may relight, but right now it's doing nothing for your fire. So even though they call them magic, there's really nothing magical about it. It's just pyrotechnics. 
So as long as the wind's not on it, it will relight. For my money, I prefer the small birthday candles or the, uh, what did we call these, the fire wicks. This is just cotton cord that's been dipped in candle wax. You use these because these will burn longer than a match will to get a fire started. Okay, so that's just my opinion, but if you want to put magic candles in your fire kits, okay, but I prefer just regular candles. Well, I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, your questions, your remarks about this helpful suggestions too and as always watch for my buddy Max bye now know you've been a good friend and that's in the thick and thin and I know it's never gonna end